Hi guys, Wacker here. Um, I'm going to go over how easy it is to drop an FX into uh, the Radiant Black editor. I'm also going to uh, quickly show you how you can do lights as well. Now I've put a um, nighttime skybox on for this purpose and I've dropped a green car in there. I don't like the looks of this green car. Now there's various views you can view your um, uh, editor game in. Um, the one that we're probably used to is seeing this sort of quality. If I press F8, uh, it's going to try and do more real-time lighting, uh, which hence is a bit darker because it's night time. Um, I'm not going to build the um, uh, full sun lighting and all that at the moment. What I am going to do is we're going to look at putting the FX in now. So if I go to View, Toggle, and I'm going to bring my FX browser up. Uh, we'll scroll down a little bit and just be looking at the car. So there's the car. So uh, I think we should add some fire in first. Uh, fire vehicle. Yeah, we can give that one a go. So I'll drop that there and we'll put it up there. So there, we've got a bit of fire going in. So the car is now on fire. There's fire, where's the smoke? So let's sling some smoke in. Um, smoke, let's try this one. There we go, there's some smoke. And do you know what? I actually want more smoke. I'm going to choose that one as well. I seem to recall it goes the other way. Press escape. Drop this onto my car. Um, you can actually drop it into the 3D window. I just like to be able to know where I'm dropping it, it's a bit easier yeah, than predicting it being off screen. So now we have a car that is well and truly on fire, uh, which is going to make mapping a lot easier when you can just set the FX play going. So you could stop it if it's killing your machine, or you can just have it on play, repeat. And that's what I'm doing. If you um, take an FX and you move it, it sometimes takes a while to catch up, it's working quite well there. Um, but if it doesn't, all you need to do is re-trigger the FX and it will reset it back from the beginning. So that is the simple way of adding some FX into your map. Uh, let's look at lights, shall we? So I have a bit of a con construct going on here and it's a little bit garish. Um, so I have some red and blue lights and I've got some FX playing as well. So if I scroll over here. You'll also see how these um, effects are being interacted with the lights so they reflect properly depending on which colour is hitting them at the time. Uh, what I will do um, will get rid of a light and we'll get rid of another light. So I've got a bit of darkness there, I'm missing a light somewhere. Right, so now my FX are busy running, I've got a Spark FX running there, but I can't see these other FX because there's no light. So if we look in here, and this is the Entity Browser, under Build you can find lights, and there's also light probes as well, but we're just going to use the light at the moment. So if I scroll out here, so I can see what I'm doing, so we're near the boxes. Let's drop a light near these boxes, and hey presto we have a light and it's real time but we can drop it there for argument's sake now we can change various settings on it so let's just change the colour on it so here is the default colour for white if I click on that line I could manually enter the line the colours but uh, you know I'm quite lazy so I'm going to set the colour of light through here uh, let's have a green light, nice green light, sick of clay, and now we have, it's like a disco going on in here. Uh, at the moment, uh, it's not really how I'd probably want it, so we can edit the properties of it. I'm just going to get rid of the FX browser, and so we've got a radius, 
we could change some of these. I think we're going to get rid of these these windows as well. There we go. So we could change the radius, make it 200. That's uh, a bit intense, but it fills the room up nicely. And we're almost in the same settings now as the rest of this. Um, I could select said light bulb and duplicate it by pressing space. Um, uh, what colour should we have? Should we yellow? We can get yellow up here. It's now got a bit of yellow going on. And you can see the FX swirling through there quite nicely. It's a garish little corridor this. But as you can see, it's working really well. I don't have the best PC in the world and it's handling it quite well indeed. Uh, I hope this gives you a little insight into how easy it is to add FX and how you can quickly add lights in. Uh, something that uh, one of us will have to go over is the skyboxes. Um, slightly different from the old way of doing things. Um, you can real time edit the way the light boxes work as well, just as you can with textures. Uh, so if I went into here and I wanted to look at the sky boxes, I could change the pitch and you'll um, save it and it would immediately apply to the box in here. But I'm not going to cover that today, uh, that's for another day. Uh, I hope this was a little bit informative. I hope you can hear me and it's not as bad as the other videos. Um, but we're making progress and uh, if you want to make a trippy psychedelic uh, corridor which is going to make people feel nauseous hey it's possible and uh, I'll stop doing that before you're all sick of your keyboards cheers guys